obviously my truck has its boost tube issue thing going on it's not connected so it's like hard to drive because there's no turbo going on um, by the way what's up guys and welcome back or to the channel however the other thing is there's ice on this driveway but not on the street and uh, it should be interesting trying to get out of here because I tried moving this yesterday and I definitely grabbed the light off the back window but it just spins so this should be interesting the exact reason I bought this this Silverado to drive it in weather in conditions like this and I'm, I'm over there like tinkering with it yes I'm using a shop broom because just because Today we are going to be painting our truck bed. However, I knew I should have did this a long time ago. I never bought like the intermediate uh, sandpapers, like the three, four hundred grit. Um, I completely forgot to do that, so I can. What is this? Dusty leather. Real quick, I'm gonna go over two new things we have on the website. People are wondering about the hoodies. Yes, they are coming. They should be here this week, so stay tuned for those. Also, we have new Flex Fit snapbacks yes flex fit my head is massive so i have one of the world's largest and like awkwardly shaped heads so this flex fit is like the only hat that fits my head it's comfortable um i know there's a lot of snapbacks out there that just they're too tight they fit weird they stick bunch up they're top heavy and funny these like i said i'm for my company i get stuff that i would wear but this fits great forward and backward my old videos i always wore this exact black hat uh, obviously not with my logo on it, but this flex fit snapback and we also have we also have flex fit trucker hats on the website as well We got the black front and the white panel on the side um, go check them out You know a lot of people miss out on the hoodie releases and stuff There's a decent amount of hats, but there's not many if you want one or think about one go take advantage of it now um, Either the the flex fit trucker and the snapback we got hoodies coming restocks of the black and camo and we have a new design coming and we also should have uh, different hats coming in the near future as well if these aren't either your flavor without further ado Let's try and back out of this driveway without getting stuck. I think it's more of The pulling in that's the problem Because it's uphill so I need to get some salt or something while we're there Oh fun we made it. All right, so we got back. We got more paint sticks because they're cheap and you can never have enough. Uh, we did three, two, and another set of 1,000. I already have a set of these over there, but I know I'm going to run out. So figured I'd not run out again. And just get them while I was there. Also got four sets of four 400 grit sandpaper. This 3M Pro Grade Faster Sanding Sheets are incredible. I use the 80 grit. I um, bet they do wonder what we're honestly gonna do because I do have a few runs in the primer I'm honestly gonna take my palm sander and sand the whole bed with 400 grit some people online say honestly stop at 400 So the paint has something to stick to we'll see kind of the surface condition when I get there if we need to go higher or not this with uh, my palm sander to start but then I also went down and I used 220 on the block and then 400 on the block this right now is across pretty darn glass smooth I'm not worried about it the color I'm spraying is not I love how I just touch my nose all the time okay that's even worse uh, <laughs> but the color I'm spraying when you guys see it first of all you guys are gonna love it but also I think we're definitely okay with just the little parts of where you can see the tan greenish bondo you know as long as it's not rough this whole thing's smooth there's a few spots where like you could you would definitely see here's another one um, there's definitely a couple spots where you could feel and see where there's like little like just the little lows in the paint but other than that she's super good 
body line is super like oh my god it is so much better than where we were um, so going back and doing all that body work was definitely a plus I'm gonna lay some new plastic and get this dust out of here and we're gonna start shooting our base so guys everything is from the coating store. Um, I actually went to their eBay store and got all the this paint and clear. It was a um, the clear is like a wetter clear, so it's like a high, high, high gloss, like show clear. I kind of wanted that, give her like the best I guess gloss we can. If you guys did not see my video on Instagram, this is a metallic paint. Honestly, take your guesses in the comments down below right now what you think this paint color is. Um, there's a couple of you who know, so don't ruin it for others, but take this ring off. Let's open this paint up. Oh baby, that looks so darn good. It's unreal. So the mix on this guy is two to one. Kind of scrape the bottom, get the pigments all stirred up. This is a lot of paint, holy crap. That's like just about perfect, but it's also everywhere else. But in the cup. This is already pretty thin, so I'm kind of amazed at how thin they uh, want this, really. That should be a good starting point, guys. Guys, it's been a long, long, long time coming in. It is finally time to paint our truck bed. I'm super excited. Sit back, relax, watch this happen and watch the color change from this factory maroon to something super spectacular. Okay guys, so we have like the first and almost second, almost second coat done. I just had to mix more, shoot the other side. But there's so much to learn when painting, especially like vehicles and trucks like this. I never even knew. But this place makes the, just everything so simple. What tip to use, what gun to use, what to mix, how to mix, uh, flash times at temperatures. And on top of that, literally right here it says, do not spray this product with the fluid knob on your gun all the way open. The first layer I laid, I'm like, this looks like trash. Well, if I came back and read my notes here that they supply you, turn the fluid knob down to two or three turns, and the, it's, the paint is laying unreal. So, this is looking super good. I'm gonna finish my second coat, and I'll come back and we'll shoot our third. Okay, so running into a problem only on this panel down here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's just like peeling up and flaking. Uh, I'm gonna have to sand that panel down, redo it, and then I'll shoot that again. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's shoot the rest of this truck. <laughs> Peeling. Uh, you look on Google, it literally says the top layer is drying before the bottom, which seems kind of suspicious because the primer has been on here for like a day or so now, so that's kind of interesting. Um, honestly, going to scrape it off here where it is peeling and doing this. Going to try and uh, restart this this part of the panel, I guess. I don't know why this is happening, but... Alright guys, well 
it's gonna be like hopefully third time's a charm on this. Scrape it down, sanded it, 220'd it. <laughs> gonna primer it again and hope for the best. I'm gonna do some light coats on this. So hopefully we can use what's left in this can to get us where we need to be. Let's start off just kinda, I'm gonna miss the areas, the inners, so we can uh, then feather it out. I'm gonna shoot the other side of the truck one more time. This all should give us plenty to shoot this side multiple times and um, get our lower section crossing our fingers it doesn't peel again and flake uh, or wrinkle but this has been a super entertaining and fun process it's just been you know a huge 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 learning experience guys uh, i can't even stress that enough it's been crazy Um, I'm honestly about to take acetone and just wipe all the paint off and sand it, reprime it, and respray it. There's no excuse for me to like not do that at this point. The rest of the bed is like perfect. So I'm gonna acetone that whole panel and um, reprime it, respray it, and just do it the right way instead of like trying to beat around it and try to like sand parts and not do the rest. So I'm just gonna wipe it all off and uh, start over really. base coat up real quick shoot that panel um, I sanded it down it's smooth um, don't know really what was happening here but we're gonna shoot it one more time let it sit cure uh, it should be like 15 minutes or so and I do still have some of our um, purple metallic here mixed I'm definitely gonna start shooting clear on this uh, I think we're just gonna go for it um, because I know everybody online is like, do not sand the base coat, do not sand the base coat. Everyone thinks they should wet sand it, but most times they say, don't sand the base coat. So we are going to skip that today. Like on my filler door here, we have a few runs. Uh, it's just literally the filler door. Other than that, the rest of it looks pretty good. Other than that, we're not going to touch the base, and we'll top it with clear. It happened again, it started wrinkling up top and I was just like, forget it. I'm gonna go get the 80 grit on the sander, sand that to as close to bare metal as I can. This gun is full of primer and like a lot of activators so it dries quicker. I mean, I got nothing. I, I got nothing but I'm gonna sand this thing off. Just gonna sand it off. Yeah, frustrating, frustrating it is. But I'm gonna sand it down to 80 and um, reprime it. So on there, the thing is it's between coats is about 10 minutes of flash time. Uh, you kind of want it to just to sit there set up before you spray another layer. Next video is me finishing this little panel and me getting the clear coat on. You also do need to shoot the clear within 24 hours of you laying the base coat. 
Um, it says it right here in your kind of like your little text sheets. Let's see. Maximum time before clearing, or minimum time before clearing, 30 minutes, and maximum time before clearing, 24 hours. If exceeded, lightly scuff and respray. But you'll probably see that in the next video. I'm gonna finish this up here and get it coated in a, in a sense of like, it's coming out real, real good. I haven't seen any of it um, kind of cracking yet. Um, it does look darn good though. So there's a lot of paint in that gun still. So honestly, I want to, and there's activator in it. So I mean, it'll harden one, maybe two more coats on real quick, just so we're good. And uh, when this dries, we can get it all sanded out. All right guys, well there you have it. We also sprayed our little uh, test little thing there. So like I said, in the other video, I kind of want every car I paint, I kind of want to paint one of those so I kind of get the color down with a picture. Just some super neat. Um, we got this panel all sprayed out. Um, the gun is like quarter full still, but um, I don't want to put too much paint on there because we do have to, in fact, put um, our purple paint back on top of that. Uh, I think we're good where we sat. The paint is super. Um, it's good. We are good. No cracking, no nothing so far. So we're looking super good. Can't wait to finish this and uh, can't wait to get that cabin here. So if you guys enjoy this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get on there, click subscribe. Hopefully you enjoy the purple paint instead of the green. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.